Good day to everyone. This video talks about power on self fast. We might ask what is POST? POST, short for power on self test, is the initial set of diagnostic tests performed by the computer right after it's powered on with the intent to check for any hardware related issues. Fisher 2022. Uh, as mentioned, POS is a diagnostic process that examines the computer systems, devices that are present and functioning properly, such as peripheral devices and other hardware, after which the operating system runs. Most POS sequences are a combination of audible and visual messages. These are beeps that we generally hear when the computer is booting up and visual messages that appear on screen. I remember when we had PC disassembly and assembly activity, one of the students forgot to connect the CPU fan connector to the motherboard. After turning on the power, a message CPU fan is not connected appears on screen. This is an example of visual message. For the bit codes, this will vary depending on the manufacturer. Let us browse computer hope and Dell website. Allow me to read this one. Except for Dell and Mac, your computer or motherboard manufacturer is not the device manufacturer. Determine the various manufacturer of your computer's motherboard. Then select the appropriate link below for vehicles. Later on, I am going to demonstrate how, deter how to determine the bias manufacturer. Okay, let us scroll down the page. Okay, this is all intended for AMI bias VIF codes. We can see here the list of VIF codes as well as its description. Example. Uh, one short beep, DRAM refresh failure, okay, and then other beeps as well as its description are displayed. This one is for award bias beep codes. As we can see, it is evident that beep codes are different depending on the bias manufacturer. So, Dell beep codes, IBM, this is for IBM. We just uh, scroll down. This is for inside the Macintosh startup tones, Phoenix bias beep codes. So very long for Phoenix. Let's dive into uh, the website of Dell. As we can see, we are we have beep codes, fault description, the faults, and the suggested action. Very nice because suggested action is included so that we know how are we going to fix that particular failure if we encounter it what we're going to do is to use this as reference for beep codes or we can use any other related websites that features the different beep codes i'm going to demonstrate how to look for the bias manufacturer of a desktop or a laptop okay here on the search box i will be including ran after which, select run. Here, I am going to type our MS Info 32 and then click OK. After which, the system information dialog box appears. Or uh, there is a shorter process on how to display this. You just type system and then look for system information. There you go. So the uh, system information dialog box appears. And then what we're going to do, guys, is to look for the BIOS version. Now we can see here that the BIOS version of this laptop is inside there. Okay, that's it. If this video helps you, kindly click subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.